Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and today I just got a notification that a new controller software has come out uh, for my network. Um, I always try to keep up to date you know as much as possible. Uh, I don't like running the bleeding edge but I do like to be running you know the most recent so I don't do a lot of like release candidates and stuff like that unless I really want to play with it and I don't want it on my actual uh, you know production network at home. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the steps that I take and t steps that you should take uh, when you are upgrading your controller. I'm actually using a Raspberry Pi. It's also set up as what's called a Pi hole for my DNS uh, information and stuff like that. So it'll get rid of ads and all that other stuff from browsers and stuff like that. Um, so first off, let's get into the controller. And as you can see, I'm running 5.10.17. And it says right here that we do have the controller software 5.10.19. So I was running 17, this is 19. Um, click download. I've actually already downloaded it, so it's on my local system. And then I'm going to actually copy it over to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, one thing that we want to do before we do any update, just in case we have issues, because I've had issues before, is to actually go to the backup so go to settings and in here you'll see uh, auto backup and in there I can see that I had a backup that was taking on 3.7 and we're gonna download that one So I've got a backup from 3.7. I don't think I made any changes from yesterday to today, but I'll maintenance makes sense. And I am going to say download backup here. This will take a, a amount of time. So if it's a real long time, I will fast forward through this part. But basically what it'll do is it'll pop up and say, you know, do you want to download this file? And you just say yes. And that would be as of right now, as of the time that you actually click on the backup. It's not the backup from yesterday. It's not the backup, you know, there. It's actually a uh, this time when I click the button. Okay, as we can see here, here is the one that I was just taking. Uh, on 318 at 1709 so two minutes ago so it took about two minutes it looks like and there's the auto backup that I downloaded earlier so we've got two backup files one from yesterday and one from today um, since I've already downloaded the, the file all we need to do now is And we can see here the different uh, versions there. There's, you know, an older version that I copied over there, and then there's another version, and we're actually going to be uh, moving the Unify S10. So that's just going to be an SCP Unify 510.19, and we're going to move this over to the Raspberry Pi that is my controller. So I'm basically just SCP in the file from my laptop over to the uh, Unify controller. Now I'm actually going to SSH into my Raspberry Pi, which is my controller for my network. And I copied it into the temp directory. So if we look in the temp directory, there should be the unify, and there it is. And then what we're going to do here is check our space. And we seem to be fine. And then now we're actually going to uh, install it.
and we're going to need to do this as sudo since I am uh, logged in as pi. It says recommend that you create a backup before installing a new version. Do you have a backup? Yes, we've got two of them. Okay, it has been upgraded. We're actually gonna give it a little bit of time to make sure that we can still get into the graphic user interface. Um, I've seen it take, you know, five minutes uh, because it's, you know, putting a lot of stress on the system, being that it is a very small, uh, very, very small Raspberry Pi, but we can try logging in and see what happens. And it looks like it's, we're good to go. It's 5.10.19 now, so we've got the latest version. And here it says that we've got the new version, explains a little bit of the new stuff that's been there. They've uh, got a new Wi-Fi experience score, stability, performance, and security updates, dark mode, automatic network optimization. Uh, once you get it, you can see it as well. Wi-Fi experience, um, stability and performance, and bring your content to life, dark mode, and auto-optimize. So we're good to go there. Here we can change the theme up top to dark or light I, I like dark but I, I'm also used to the light so I'm just going to keep it on the light for now and there we have the latest uh, version of the controller installed on a Raspberry Pi um, we can check the devices see if there's any updates on those does not look like it so we are good to go controller is upgraded to the latest and greatest if you would please like subscribe Thank you for watching this video. This is on the Unify network uh, stuff for, you know, what I consider my home network. You can use it in a small business and stuff like that. I've been very happy with it. Um, have not had any issues with it and just been, been very pleased. Upgrades have been pretty seamless. And being able to update the firmware, you know, kind of on the fly has been a, a real plus. Thank you again and have a great day.